offensively, what went wrong with the passing game in general? So the guys couldn't really get that going and they would stack the box against you guys. Uh, yeah, it was we just kind of do a better job of converting on third down and stuff like that. And <clears throat> we know that we have a we've had a really good uh, running uh, t- good time running the ball this season. So we just have to with the pass, we have to help help that out and. What was the game plan offensively heading into the game, knowing Iowa's rush defense was so good? Was the pass game more emphasized? Uh, I wouldn't say more emphasized, but we knew that it was going to be there. Um, we knew that they had a really good front, and so just coming off of that, we knew we had to be be the guys to make make some plays down the field. Um, we knew that, like we knew the coverages they were going to be in and stuff like that. We knew that they played a lot of bail, so I mean the opportunities were there. Sam, you've been through a lot here in your time at Illinois. Just probably not the way you wanted to go out in your last home game, but just talk a little bit about how you guys regroup for next week. Yeah, you know, um, well, it's a short turnaround. Uh, it's Thanksgiving week coming up, but you just have to focus and uh, get right back in here tomorrow and just start the process over again. And I mean, we, we still we still trust in each other. It's not like we just give up on each other, but you know, at the same time. We do have to realize like some of the mistakes we made, and we have to clean that up really fast. Last game at Memorial, and the game plays out as it did. Just mm-hmm. what are some of the emotions that you're going through? Uh, I don't want to say it hasn't hit me yet because it kind of did, but I don't know. Just just reflecting back on my journey, um, it's just been been a long road, and I'm, I'm happy that I got to play with the guys in that locker room. And, like they've always accepted me and stuff like that, and I feel like I've been a leader to the team this year. And I mean, anytime you lose like that, that's, I mean, I feel like that's not a reflection of who we are or who we know we can be. And it's just disappointing to see that happen. As a leader, uh, what do you say to the younger guys after a loss? Like that? Yeah, that's tough. Because uh, some of the guys, like some of the guys, you just have to. I mean, everybody, everybody's different. So you have to know how to approach certain guys. Like some guys want to be left alone. Some guys need that positive reinforcement so it's just on an individual basis but as a team you you can never let anybody get down and, and shut themselves out from the rest of the team so <clears throat> like you talking about as a leader I just got to try to keep everybody positive including myself thanks sir. Appreciate it. Thanks, sir.